What's a modern day poison people willingly ingest? This shit. Those talking videos with like three things happening on the screen simultaneously. Social media is already absolutely atrocious for attention span. Using that many distractions on a 30s clip just exponentially enhances that problem. Alcohol. Social media. Those shorts videos that now are almost in every platform. If you have problems with focus and getting shit done then you know that if you keep watching them you might end up in the next day without even realizing you haven't done anything yet. Sips coffee, takes bong hit, doom scrolls reddit. Fuck, I can't think of any. Edit. My favorite thing about this is the legions of people defending coffee and weed and literally nobody defending reddit. 24 hour news cycle. What adult film actress's popularity astounds you? Tila Tequila MySpace fame came out of nowhere. Mia Khalifa, always in the top 10 on Pornhub, but didn't have that long of a career. Not a specific actress, but there's a lot of amateur stuff made by average looking couples with a lot of views, and I'm trying to explain to my GF that we could be making money if she let me wear the GoPro on my forehead. Edit. Guys, I showed her this comment, and she said okay. I'm baffled by basic of girls who are making money in an oversaturated market. Edit. I'm 100% jealous by the way lol. I'm just here to see the replies for potential new material. What's a now, obsolete, technology you miss? Non-subscription based services. The world was so much nicer. Consumer printers that don't need two apps and specific ink to work, thanks HP. Buttons to control the radio. HVAC on my car dashboard. A headphone jack on a phone. I really miss when the only way of getting on the internet was through the computer room. Hard copy concert tickets. I'd like to keep adding to my 50 year concert ticket collection. Only way to do that now is to purchase commemorative printings from third party companies. Non smart TVs and appliances. No, I don't want to give my dishwasher internet access. What company consistently puts out bad product but still makes a lot of money? Time Warner. I mean, Spectrum. Fanatics. You can find people who are fans of most companies, but you won't find a single person who supports this excuse of a brand. Every insurance company, and in many cases we're legally obligated to use their products. EEA. Aramark, the food corporation that serves stadiums, festivals, etc. HP with their shit ass printers. Ticketmaster bitch ass. Harley Davidson. They literally had the Reagan administration kneecap the foreign motorcycle market so they didn't have to innovate to keep up with Honda. What is slowly phasing out in 2022? iPhone chargers. Term lengths of UK PMs. Manned registers. Honestly, cheap and neat finds at antique, thrift stores. Most places upcharge outrageous amounts for the items they get in, especially if it's a legitimate antique or unique item. On top of that, a lot of what's being sold now are knickknacks and decorative items that were made cheap at the time, and no one wants anymore. I think we're also phasing out of the cheap product phase for everything, or at least slowing down. More and more people are choosing to repurpose their items or try and fix them, rather than just tossing and buying something new. Repurposing is even easier than ever thanks to the internet. It's no longer a struggle to figure out how to fix shit and to buy missing parts and tools that you'd need to get the job done. 